Hello, this is Sarah with the Montgomery Floyd Regional Library Youth Services Department. Here are some media tips and tricks for families. Right now, the amount of required screen time can feel overwhelming. From work to school to socializing, it seems harder and harder to step away from the screen. This can leave us feeling guilty and worrying about the health of our children and ourselves. Here are some tips from the Child Mind Institute to support your family's use of screen time during the pandemic. No matter what specific parameters your family places around screen time, these tips can help ensure your children are set up for success once the pandemic is over. Tip number one, set a positive example. From babies to teenagers, children will look to you for modeling regarding screen time. Make sure you have your own personal boundaries around how you use your devices. Tip number two, screen time is positive when it encourages learning, connection, interaction, and is age appropriate. Make sure you are aware of what your kids are consuming. Engage with them by watching a show and talking about it together, or use screens to connect with family members and friends you haven't seen in a while. Tip number three, creating a media-free zone in your home like a bedroom or the dinner table, encourages healthy media consumption. Tip number four, consider making a family media plan. This way, everyone can contribute and create boundaries that benefit each family member. Remember, this is not a time for strict limits. If your children are safe and fed at the end of the day, you are doing fine. Don't get too caught up in the specifics. We are all adjusting to new and difficult experiences. For more information, visit the Child Mind Institute at childmindinstitute.org. And don't hesitate to reach out to your librarians for more resources.